Okay, so the final part that we are going on into today will be solving some problems on conversion, all right, involving percentage, of course. Okay, so let's check out this one. There were 35 apples, 44, sorry, 45 bananas and 40 cherries at fruit stall. What percentage of the fruits were bananas? Okay, your favorite fruit, right? Well, what percentage? I know it's 45 bananas, but does it, does 45 bananas directly mean 45%? What else do we need to check? What else do we need to check? You have to check what is the total. Because why? Because we're looking at the percentage of the fruits. We're looking at the total amount of fruits. So the first thing that we need to find is the total number of fruits, which is by adding them all up first. Okay? Which is 120. Is that all right? You're confused about this? Okay, because percentage of the fruits... Before you find the percentage, all right, you need to know what percentage of what thing. In this case, it is of the fruit. Find the total number of fruits first. Is that clear? All right. So the percentage of the bananas will become, all right, so I'll show you all the multiplication, all right. So 45 out of 120 times 100%, okay. Take note of this method, all right? Take note of this method. This method is to put a fraction into percentage by multiplication, okay? I say again, by multiplication, okay? So because there are 45 bananas, and 45, it is out of a total of 120. Can you see that? So when it's out of 120, you times 100% to convert it into percentage, okay? So the fraction of the fruits that are bananas will be 45 out of 100. But we want it in percentage form. All right, so we convert a percent into percentage form. We can multiply by 100%. The method is if you can change the denominator into 100, okay, then it will be easier. But in this case, you just directly multiply by 100% will do, okay? All right, so percentage of fruits that were cherries, can you all do the same? All right, so 40 out of 120, for those of you who simplify 40 out of 120, it will be one third. Am I right? So one third will be 33.3%. So you can just directly multiply by 100%. You will also get 33.3%. Okay, so that's why I said uh, for this series, I'm trying to show you all different ways of converting from fraction to percentage. All right. Because last week, you all saw how we can convert a percentage into a fraction. Huh? All right. So round off to one decimal place. That's why it is 33.3%. Otherwise, this, if you look at calculator, it will just go on and on and on. Because uh, one third is actually what you call a recurring decimal. That's why it will never end. Hmm? Okay. okay, check carefully. At first, there were one six as many markers as pens in a box. Then, half of the pens were removed from the box. What percentage of the remaining items in the box were markers? Think carefully first. Yes, what do we do first for this uh, question? What is the meaning of half of the pens were removed from the box? Hmm? Okay, so let's check out how we could deal with it. Huh? The, the deal with this part. Okay. So if there are one six as many markers as pens, what can we say about the markers and what can we say about the pens? Remember fraction form? So one unit is markers and six units is pens. So half of the pens were removed, 50% of them were removed. So how many units were removed then? Half of six units, all right? You can take 50% or you can just, just take it, which will be three units, all right? So what happens is that the remaining total, because after you remove three units of pens, your remaining total is just only three plus one, isn't it? One unit of marker, and three units of pens are remaining. So the fraction of the remaining total that were markers will be one out of four, isn't it? Okay, can you see the similarities with what I did in the previous question? I need to find the total, and what total? The remaining total in this case, is that clear? Make sure you are using the correct total, because at the first, there were more than that, there was more than that, no? There was uh, six uh, units of pens and one unit of markers but in the end there's only 
four units in total, all right? You need to take one out of four, which is how many percent? Convert it into percentage. Okay, I'll show you all another method. Okay, as, I, as you all see from the previous slide, times 100%, immediately you'll get 25%. Okay. Yes, more importantly, the method of conversion to percentage. What do you all think? Okay, next. Okay, let's check out more examples. One third of the items in an equipment room are records. 0 0.25 of them are sticks and the rest are balls what percentage of the total items are balls what do we need to do with, to the various uh, fractions and percentages yes what do you think hmm? one third of the items are records all right so that means to say the remaining items will be only two out of three is that correct so from there 0 0.25 of the remaining items means to say that i will need to take 0. Two thirds. Okay. Now there are various methods to deal with the remainder. All right. So in problem solving, you must know how to make sure that your units that you want to use. All right. Uh, as according to, all right, what you have there. Okay. So zero point two five times two thirds. Okay. Which I can multiply. All right. So that I could get the fraction which represents the uh stakes okay is that okay so stakes will be one sixth of them and of course the remaining will be balls right so one minus one third minus one six automatically you will get the fraction which represents the balls is that okay so far so i want to find the percentage which represents the balls so three out of six is actually half all right, so I'll show you all the multiplying by 100% method, okay, which is 50%. So what else? Okay, we can also take half by converting it into 50 out of 100. Remember the method which I showed you all earlier? You can change half into 50 out of 100. That will automatically give you 50% as well. Okay. Okay, so part B. All right, I want to express... The number of sticks as a percentage of the total. Okay. What about sticks? Remember, sticks is one out of six, right? So how do we convert one out of six into percentage? All right. Same thing, I show you one out of six times one hundred percent. Okay. So that will be sixteen point seven percent. All right. So I'm showing you all another method, all right, of uh, changing from fraction to percentage. So the, the common comes where is it the fraction part? The fraction part was simply just to break it out into three different items, all right. Because you see, the first part, one third of the items are rackets, all right. So we have rackets in fraction. It is one out of three of the total. But because the next part tells us that 0 0.25 of the remaining items are sticks. So this part is the remainder concept. I need to use a remainder to find. So I showed you, I took 0 0.25 times 2 thirds. All right. So this gives us the fraction that represents the sticks, which turns out to be 1 out of 6. So remaining the last item, the last, last item, which is the balls. So I take the one whole minus one third and minus one six and that will give you the fraction that represents the ball all right so 28 percent of the lights along the corridor are green lights 25 percent of the remaining lights are yellow and the remaining lights are blue okay so i hope you are accustomed to the word remainder or remaining because you will encounter that very very frequently so you need to know what is the remainder and how to use that remainder to find the other parts so I run you all through the steps. The remaining lights will be 100 minus 28, which is 72%. Take note, this time it is all in percentage. Okay. So what do we have there? 25% of the remaining lights are yellow. So what is the meaning of 25% of the remaining lights? So I'm taking 25% of that 72% there. Can you see that? You'll get 18%. So this is to find out the percentage of the lights which are yellow. So it's not 25%, huh? it's 25% of the remainder that are yellow. 
That's why you need to do that extra step to work out the percentage which are yellow. Okay. So the percentage of the lights that are blue, of course, will be the last one. So 100 minus 28 minus 18 and the rest will be blue. 54. Open. Okay. So how do we do part B? Express the number of green lights as a fraction. Take note as a fraction. Okay. That are blue. Express or express the lights as a fraction of number of blue lights okay so look at the percentage green lights is 28 percent blue lights is 54 percent so how do we write out the the fraction green lights as a fraction of blue so that will be 28 out of 54 is that clear so of course we simplify that no 14 out of 27 is the answer okay so this is to express all right as a fraction, all right? 